The Boilermakers will face off against the winner of this game coming up on Tuesday night. Dave O'Brien and Krista Blunk with it. Cam Anthony joining us in just a moment. Yes, indeed, it's Tennessee's turn, and Tennessee poised for another national championship run. They are, and they have to come in focused. This is the top seed. They're taking on the number 16 seed, but they want to come in and execute. They want to play their game. Even though they want to get out and run at times, they've got some set plays right off the bat. They want to execute as if they're playing anybody else in the tournament. A look at our Star Wars now, and for Oral Roberts, Jenny Harden probably has to have the game of her life. Candace Parker just has to be Candace Parker. That's right. Well, Harden, she's one of their top scorers. She's been hampered with a foot injury, but her three-point shot is starting to come on, and then Candace Parker, eighth in the nation in scoring. She's their leader in scoring, rebounding, blocks. A very tough matchup for Oral Roberts. To the starting lineups now, and for Oral Roberts, the golden some outside shots starting to fall for Tennessee and that will open things up because Oral Roberts, their zone just packed in the lane. There's no way to even get a pass in there to their post players, high or low. So a couple of made shots outside might open things up. Tennessee four out of 11 beyond the three point arc and there's Parker again, just a roadblock defensively and the basket. Robinson Fowler as well and Parker will go to the line. So now Tennessee starting to get a little serious. Parker's got a dozen points. Robinson stayed with Candace Parker the whole way. A sloppy pass. She just stayed right there with her. And Candace Parker going up with the left hand. Great finish. She's used to all this contact because Robinson gave her as much as she could trying to stop the make. Oral Roberts largely staying within range anyway because they have hit five out of nine from three. Yeah, they were definitely coming down as quick as they could. Both are able to hit a couple of big threes. Watford way outside to hit the three. Five of nine for Oral Roberts, but back at him early. Candace Parker down low, getting it done. Then stepping outside in the outside jumper. How about 12 points in 12 minutes for Candace Parker? And she just sat down and watched. Jenny Harden with 10. Adjustments with about 15 and a half left in his first round game. And Krista, what do they have to do? Like for Oral Roberts, when they've been at their best, they've been able to push the tempo. They've been able to go out, find the first opening. They don't want to let Tennessee's defense get set, and that's worked for them. And then for Tennessee, they've got to be patient. Oral Roberts' defense just sagging inside. So nice, sharp passes out and around the perimeter. Work it inside now. But they're not going to get a lot of looks inside that paint. Alexis Hornbuckle with the pass of the day of the four games. What a beautiful pass, David. Starts with the defense, and, and now Tennessee's looking to run. Watch this pass. Looks like she's going to go up for the layup. A little wraparound behind the back, and a nice finish by Bjorklund. It's WNBA style right there. Hornbuckle, just an all-around player for this team. She does so many different things, but really leading the team, handling the ball, one of her one of her big strengths. Well, the only lady ball in history to score a thousand points, grab 550 rebounds. She was two for two from the field. She had four rebounds. She made two game-clinching foul shots with 17 seconds left to ice that victory. That's about as good as you can do in nine minutes. Well, they just kept setting time frames in their mind as to when they thought Vicki Baugh's game would start to come on. And, and they were trying to be patient with her. She's a young player coming into this program, trying to learn how to be a post with the back to the basket. Not her style of play. She's been a face-up player her whole career. But as of late, she's starting to get it. And, and if you're going to learn from anybody, and look at the group that she gets to learn from. Hornbuckle, the senior. Very solid tonight. We talked about her versatility and all the different things that she does, but she was lighting it up from outside. Three of five shooting from the three-point arc. Beautiful passing, a little bit flashy, getting this crowd and their fans into it. What a great line she's got going here tonight. One of her seven assists there, just a dandy. Rebounding and scoring our Coke Zero player of the game, Alexis Hornbuckle. Just two turnovers to go with those seven assists. 